Hello, I've been asked to look at Audacity for the presentation today. This is an audio editing tool that provides a lot more features than typical ScreenFlow. Uh, if you were doing a ScreenFlow presentation and you wanted to do some uh, editing of the audio that's more advanced than what ScreenFlow allows, you could export it into Audacity and do the editing there. Or if you had already recorded a video, maybe a PowerPoint presentation or something, and you wanted to record audio to overlay on top of that, you could record that separately with Audacity and then import it into ScreenFlow later or into your YouTube video or whatever you're doing. So let's take a look at Audacity and how it works. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start recording here and just do a little recording of audio. This is audio that I'm recording for my Audacity presentation. If I stop that, I can go back to the top of the and just do a little recording of audio. Presentation. This is audio that I'm recording for my Audacity presentation and just do a little recording of audio. So you can see it just works a lot like ScreenFlow. You can go back and forth, scrub through it. Uh, however, the editing is a little bit more advanced and allows you to do some features, um, uh, add some features. So for example, if I found a piece of this that I didn't do like too much. a little recording much, of audio. This is audio that I'm recording. So there's a piece that I kind of said the same thing twice. So I can go ahead and select that. And now let's see what that sounds like and just do a little recording of audio for my Audacity presentation. Okay, so that sounds a little bit better. There's a, a little skip in there. We could edit that if we'd like to. We can zoom in on this and you can really see the waveform. Uh, so let's take a look at where that skip shows up. And just do a little recording of audio for my Audacity. For my Audacity. Right here. I might want to clean up a little bit because I can hear a little popping audio sound. For my Audacity presentation. So I could go in there and do a little bit more editing on that part right there. Uh, there's some other things you can do. If I zoom out to see the whole waveform again, if I select this whole thing, um, there are all sorts of effects you can put in. I can change the pitch, the tempo. Um, it has some interesting things like if I'm clicking my tongue or something, I can do that. Um, it should process that. There weren't any in there, so that's okay. I can go ahead and put on uh, a bunch of other stuff here. So you can read the documentation and see what all this kind of stuff does. Kind of fun uh, to uh, do the editing, pretty simple, especially if you're just going to come in and edit out pieces. Uh, once you've done that, you can go ahead and uh, export the media. Uh, you can export the audio to a um, waveform that you could then import into uh, ScreenFlow or whatever other video editing tool you're using.